and our preliminary data is showing that there's not really a significant difference. We're interested in looking at um, heat stress among shrimp commercial fishermen and their use of the life vests or PFDs. What made us interested in looking at this particular phenomenon was that uh, we, we believe that, you know, with heat comes increased ris risk for injury. And we wanted to see if there was a, a correlation with wearing the PFD or not wanting to wear the PFD and the amount of heat that somebody experiences. There's not been a lot of research on heat stress among uh, commercial fishermen at all. There's been quite a bit done uh, with um, field work um, and, you know, other agricultural um, businesses, but very little has been done with the idea of heat and uh, commercial fishermen, especially in the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot of research has been done with hypothermia, um, and that is because fishermen in uh, Alaska, for example, or in the Northeast, the water, the temperature of the water is much, much, much colder. There's not as much humidity and, and the heat index does not rise um, to the same level as it does, does in the Gulf. So there's, this is really uh, research that has not um, been done. We have asked and tried to um, uh, identify symptoms that a fisherman might have with heat stress, but so many of the fishermen are acclimated to the heat that the, the um, groups that we've worked with really have not um, stated that they have a lot of issues with heat stress. Well, there's, there's a number of variables that impact um, not only the core body temperature, but also perceived temperature. Um, and that's kind of what we're trying to look at and, and flesh out a little bit. But you have the humidity, you have um, ambient air and wind and ther thermal load, meaning the work that they're doing. Uh, and then, of course, the temperature, um, the actual temperature that, that they're experiencing, whether they're working in direct sun, um, et cetera. So there, some people react differently. Um, it also uh, depends on the amount of uh, fluid intake, uh, the degree of dehydration. So there, there are quite a few reasons for someone to be at higher risk for heat stress and heat stroke. Uh, wearing light colored clothes, for one, uh, wearing cotton or other materials that are breathable. Um, so natural fibers is recommended. Wearing a hat, um, you know, drinking plenty of water and also staying cool. So simply by adding water ag against the large vessels in the neck or under the arms or in the groin can really um, impact the perception of um, heat that they have. I, I would I would guess they know very little about how to respond to um, an emergency that would be heat stress or heat stroke. Um, and we have had recent reports in the Abbeville area of increased uh, number of events. Uh, but in terms of being trained, I think that's an area that uh, we could do some outreach with the Vietnamese community uh, to educate them on uh, how, how in an emergency situation or recognizing the symptoms and also what to do to prevent and what to do in the event of. They, they are mandated to um, have first aid training monthly, um, but there's not a lot of um, standardization of what that first aid would look like uh, on a vessel. So that that's there's a lot of opportunity there for helping fishermen understand um, the need. Well, in some of our preliminary work, uh, one of the barriers of wearing the PFD is comfort. And so in our focus groups, we've we heard fishermen talk about comfort as it relates to heat and that they don't like to wear it because it makes them hotter to wear it. So um, again, that was 
a barrier that we had not really heard uh, in previous cycles. So that was why we were interested in in testing this this idea of are they in fact hotter, um, either core body temperature, which would be um, a physiological heat index versus subjective heat um, sensation or perception. And our preliminary da data is showing that there's not really a significant difference between the core body temperature and the perceived. Uh, both increase as uh, the length of time increases, but right now we haven't found a lot of significance um, in, in the fact that wearing one compared to not wearing one makes a significant difference. So that's a finding in and of itself, and it has, um, you know, clinical use. And so it will help, it, it should be used to help stress that the PFD, you know, not wearing the PFD because it makes them hotter is not really true, or it has not been found to be the case.